Alright, so today I will tell you how to make good sampled chromatics and shit. I make a lot of them and stuff. Um, I The method I used in my chromatic pack is kind of outdated since I don't do that anymore. But here we go. So first, the thing you'll need is just FL Studio and um, a software called Melodyne. And if you don't know what Melodyne is, it's a pitch chord thing software, just like Newton. Whatever. So first, what you want to do is like you want to get your samples and stuff. For me, I just downloaded a bunch of um, voice clips from Sonic Adventure DX of uh, Tails. All right, come on. You want to kind of get the uh, stuff in there. I'm gonna get the samples in there, and then you want to find some good vowels. Select the memory card. Maybe that'll work. And for Melodon, you don't need to have them super long. You can just kind of cut them short. What? And then, uh, yeah. And then you just, like, cut them short. And then spawn it again. And find more samples and then cut them short. Now, I'm going to stop recording so that I can get my samples. All right, now I got my samples here. And then you kind of you just um export them. Whatever you want. Tail. And then you export them. I spelled samples wrong. And then you want to open Melodyne. By the way, Melodyne has like a trial mode you can get, so you know. And then, so, now you want, what you want to do is you want to, like, drag those things you exported into there. Oh, what the? Oh, whatever. Okay, you want to drag that in there. And then, select all. And then put pitch modulation and pitch drift both to zero. And then, on the samples, select them all, you know, if they're still selected. Now, double click any of them. So that now they're good pitch, they're um absolute, and then C4, and yeah, put pitch to C4. Now you want to remove some of the silence if you can't just do this, like double click it when this little icon so pops up, and I will do this thing real quick. All right, now I forgot to say this. Go to options. To make your thing easier, just click, go to time grid and options, and then put active off, and then, you know, you can move them easier. And now, you want to, uh, like, space them equally and stuff, like, There you go, and then you want to stretch them like that. Okay, and if there's anything like that right there, you can just do. Wait. <laughs> you do it like that. If it doesn't work normally, then you get you go back put that there, and then, you know you stretch it. And then you do it again with the other samples. Do that real quick. Alright, I did it. Now, if they look too, like, loud, you can click this little icon right here. And then uh, on them. Alright, now that you got that, double click the samples to see if they're pitched right. And then you want to drag them down. I know in FL Studio you usually do C3, but it's actually C2 because I don't know what the pitch is. But now you just want to make the staircase like you do with the other other chromatic. Let me do that, and then yeah, after that, then you select all, Control C, Control V two times, and then you uh, and then you just repeat until you got a good amount of uh, chromatic samples. I'll do that. All right, I did it. Now here we are. We got that all good. You wanna, you know, select all just in case, and then export, and then export to like your downloads. That's what you usually should do. Wait, first you wanna, uh, 
um, double click the name and rename it whatever you want because it'll overwrite if you don't change it. And then, yeah, and then you export, file export, and then wave, it's like default settings. And then this, and then you want to do downloads. And then you got your chromatic. And you can like test it if you want, like so. Also, a little tip here if it seems too silent, uh, click this button, it'll normalize it. And then you can listen to your more chromatic. <laughs> And then there's my chromatic tutorial. Hope you have fun. If there's any problem, just say it in the comments.